Good Guy says, I burned a copy of the Ubuntu 8.10 by 86 live CD, which I intend on giving to my sister-in-law so she can recover some files from an unbootable Windows Vista machine. I booted one of my PCs from it in order to practice the procedures so I can walk her through it. When it came up, I was able to see the NTFS partition as expected, but it wouldn't allow me to eject the live CD and insert mm. a data CD so I could copy the recovered files to it. Since it booted from the live CD, I suppose that makes sense, but I thought I would ask you if you knew any solution to use the CD drive. I own an uh, 8 gig USB 2 flash drive and mounted and displayed in Ubuntu. I also own a 750 gig USB 2 external hard drive bay, which I would use if I was working on my own PCs. So, um, but he doesn't want to lend that out. So, sure. um, is there any solution that you can suggest well, that just, would? You know, I'll just I'll just stop yeah. right there because mm -hmm. uh, good guy. What's happening there is like Ubuntu is actually running from your CD drive, so you can't. You can't eject that drive because it's basically acting like your your virtual uh, in, environment. Everything is being loaded off of that drive. So, uh, what you need to do if you wanted to use CD, and you'll notice that when we did that feature, we never talked at all about using CDs because it's not really a viable option. Um, you would have to have a secondary burner. So you could boot from, say, a CD-ROM drive uh, or another burner, and then you would have to have a second burner so that you could actually burn uh, at the same time. So it's doable, but you have to have two drives in order to do, to do that. You're better, you know what, with the price of flash drives and stuff, don't use disposable media. I mean, it's not even worth your while. You might as well just uh, grab a flash card from local super center. They're so cheap these days, you can get like it's a four gig, four gig drive for, mm. you know, just a couple of bucks. So, uh, so that's really the way to go. So, but uh, yeah, you would, you would absolutely have to have a secondary drive. Right. Now he's got one more little thing here. Sure. Um, in the meet video, you use the smb colon slash slash demo command to write to a network share. Sure. Is demo the Windows full computer name and the yes. control panel system? Yeah, computer. that's right. Demo was is the name of the computer that I was using at that time that had that share on it. Mm. I know it gets confusing when we use weird computer names. <laughs> but yeah, that would be whatever your computer name on Windows is. Absolutely.